Every Wednesday afternoon for nine weeks, this bus pulls up in front of the GE Global Research Center in Niskayuna, and 20 Schenectady High School students spend the afternoon learning about cutting-edge research happening right here in Schenectady County. After a meal provided by GE, the students break into two groups, Eco-imagination, about solving the world's biggest environmental challenges, and health imagination about innovations in healthcare. The INSPIRE program is a comprehensive program and there are three main areas that we're trying to target. Uh, number one, we want to expose the kids to areas of technology that are really interesting, that are cutting edge, that are very relevant uh, to today's state. Make them realize that there's a lot of exciting stuff out there, science is not boring, there's a lot of work to do, and we want to make them aware of that. Um, the second aspect of it is a non-technical aspect. We want to teach them that in order to be successful, it's not just about all you know, but about those soft skills that will help them become successful. For each student, we have a scientist assigned to them that works in the field that they have uh, communicated, they have some interest. And the idea here is for these scientists to share with them their experiences how it was when they were in high school, the things that they've learned that are good or not good in order to be successful, how to go to college, etc. We get to build a one-on-one -on -one relationship with them, which is cool because they're just normal people who are doing the exact same things that we want to do when we get older. My passion for this program has really come from developing and trying to see those relationships really flourish and benefit these kids. For me, it kind of started a couple of years ago. I did some tutoring at Schenectady High, and two things struck me. Um, this was, I was tutoring in chemistry in Ralph May's class, and two things struck me. One is that a lot of the students know a lot more than they themselves give themselves credit for. And the second thing was they're not that aware of opportunities and for careers in, in technology. Um, apart from medicine, a lot of them aren't aware of all the career opportunities. So, um, so we didn't try to dumb it down too much, because, but it, it turned out very well because the students actually ask a lot of questions and they actually get it. The coolest part is getting to see firsthand some of these things that are spoken about in the classroom, not only for the students but for the teachers as well. We got to see stem cells growing last year. Um, we get to see nanotechnology in action, which is a very abstract concept for us. We learned about a, uh, a new phase of matter last week. So there are tons of new first-hand things that we get to see and experience. It's a marvel to me to sit in the back of the classroom and watch these kids go th listen to the material, ask really probing questions, and at the end of it, when I have a quick chat with them, I realize they actually they got this. They actually get to get it. And when I ask them, so how is this going to help you? You know, how um, with your with your career choice? Some of them are actually starting to formulate ideas around career choices in technology and, and particular research, which is, you know, of course, a passion for uh, uh, for everybody here. Especially in science and technology, we often come back with this concern about how minorities are not well represented in science and technology. And sometimes we try to start at the college level. Okay, so let's go to the colleges that have, you know, uh, the, the groups that we're looking for, etc. But in our view, those who got to college, they already made it in a way. So what we're trying to do is to help the younger population so that we can perhaps make a difference between that decision of am I going to college or not. Everyone is, is working together for the best interest of these kids and so that, that is good to see between the energy that Elmira has provided to this program um, and uh, the, the unbelievable cooperation that we've gotten from the school district. It's really been something and then of course the support from GE. It's just been nice to see it all come together. Neither the students nor the school district pays for the program or transportation. GE provides the resources for busing, food, and the program materials and staff time. Students apply and are accepted to participate. I think to me this is a way of giving back because opportunities like these were the ones that enabled me when I was their age, when I was in high school, to do the things that I'm doing now. I, I was a public school student from a low-income family and all these things, so 
Opportunities like this were critical in order for me to realize the things that, that I could achieve. It's so different from other programs that you don't, you don't even know how good it is. It's good, I, I'll recommend it. It's really, it makes you learn new things and makes you understand things around you. Yeah, definitely. Ha, ha, ha.